Hello and welcome back to On the Hook Crochet where we talk about wearable crochet style. That's what I talk about on this channel. And let's find out what's on the hook today. Well, been off the hook for a while. This is a scarf that I made a while back when I first started um, videoing. And I wanted to show it to you because it's what I consider a little bit of a summer scarf. It's a beautiful light colors and I'm wearing it with a white shirt for summer, v-neck, very cool, not hard at all. And I just tied it around my neck in a loose fashion, not like I was wearing it earlier in the winter time, um, or actually late in the winter, but I was wearing it up here. And w the way I'm wearing it today, I've got the V in the back, and then just loosely wrapped around my neck a couple of times and one of the ends hanging down. If you can see that pico edge I put on there, um, it kind of shows off on the white shirt. So I really like this scarf. I just really do. And it's so comfortable. I'm not hot one bit in it. And today it's going to be 80 degrees outside. So again, I'm cold natured, but it's still, I do get hot in wool or hot things in the summertime. So I uh, just wanted to tell you that's what I'm wearing. And I have a few other things I want to talk about today, just to mishmash up some things that um, I needed to catch up on. First of all, I want to thank Summerlin of Summer's Tips and Stitches for her really wonderful shout out the other night. I really appreciate it. And I, some of those folks that watch Summer um, jumped over onto my channel and subscribed. So that was very sweet and wonderful. And I'm actually at about, I don't know, 260, 70, 80, something like that. I don't know. Um, for me, that's a huge milestone, and I'm just excited and thrilled that y'all feel like I'm contributing enough to subscribe to my channel. So uh, keep subscribing, and if you have any friends, let them know and um, ask them to subscribe as well. And you can also like my videos, and I love to see comments. I have lots of comments from lovely women who write me and talk about all kinds of great things. So I appreciate your comments, and I try to answer them all, or at least I read them and I like them, or I put a little heart on there so y'all know that I have read your comment and I appreciate it. So just a shout out to all my subscribers as well. And thank you, Summer, for mentioning me on your, on your video channel. I really appreciate that. Um, another thing that's happened to me lately, uh, happened to me, something I did was I went and bought a new camera. I'm using my iPhone right now and it's a lovely thing. I love my iPhone and um, I felt like I needed to take another step. So I bought a camcorder and I've practiced with it a few times. And I have the perfect opportunity tomorrow to take it with me to the Tennessee Fiber Arts Festival in Townsend, Tennessee. And that is near Gatlinburg, you know, maybe 50 miles from Gatlinburg. Um, those of you who do not uh, know much about Tennessee, we have a lot of very artsy people here. Uh, they're wonderful people and they put on this fiber arts festival and I've never been. I've heard about it and it's coming up this weekend so I'm going and I'm going to take my new camcorder and see if I can gather up some videos and put them together, kind of link them together so I'm not wasting your time but I do want you to see this fiber arts festival and it'll be my first time too so we'll both see it together. In fact there's supposed to be some live animals there, some llamas and some alpacas and some Angora rabbits, none of which I have ever seen in person. So this will be a real thrill for me. Also, I'm taking a friend of mine named Susan. She has been a friend of mine for over 30 years and a dear friend of mine. And she has mentioned lately that she would like to learn to spin fiber. And now that she has more time to do that, she's considering buying a spinning wheel and learning how to spin fiber. Well, the reason she's doing that is because she grows cotton and she grows quite a bit of it every year and it's just piled up in bags and she's never done anything with it and she wants to learn to spin it into yarn. So I told her as soon as she did that, I would make something out of her yarn. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. But I'm going to take Susan with me and together we're going to discover the Tennessee Fiber Arts Festival and I'm excited. I am beside myself. We're leaving early in the morning and it's a two hour drive over to Townsend and I will take y'all along as well as I can, even if it's not just photos with my iPhone 
or videos, short videos, or my camcorder if I can get some really great videos of some of the vendors and the animals and the activities that are going on there. And there's a fashion show at noon. I don't know what that entails. I have no idea, but I'm, it's an adventure for me and to take Susan is just a real blessing. So we're gonna have a girl's adventure tomorrow and enjoy ourselves at the Tennessee Fiber Arts Festival. So uh, be looking for that video or two to come out and uh, you can enjoy it with us. Um, the third thing I wanted to talk about was uh, the other day I uh, talked about the knit crate wool that I received and that I had caked up and then I had started working on and it was the mesh stitch. This is what it looks like. And I've had two people now that have asked me what the directions are for that. So I'm going to put them down in the description box. It's only four or five steps and you are well on your way to making a mesh scarf. <laughs> so I'm going to put that down in the description box. It is something that I do and I'm just going to write it down and it's real easy to do. It's not a problem at all. And then I also had a couple of ladies offer to swap yarn with me. And since I've only used this much and I'm going to frog this out if I find somebody that wants to swap and I'll wrap it back up and it'll be like brand new. But um, I would love to try the red. I don't know. I'm just, um, I'd like to make a scarf for fall and that's really up my alley better than uh, turquoise, which I love. It's a beautiful color. I can get back here so you can see it. It is gorgeous, but I really love red more. Red is one of my favorite colors. Um, along with green and I would love to try it. So if you're interested in doing that, swapping with me, send me an email. The email address is down in the description box and we'll arrange it. And I would love to do that with somebody if you're willing to. If you're not, I'll just get over myself and make a scarf out of the turquoise. <laughs> so I'm, I'm easy. Don't worry about me. But if you want to swap, I'm, I'm, I'm more than happy to do that really have anything on the hook right now. I'm preparing for my trip tomorrow to the Fiber Festival and I'm beside myself. I'm so excited. So I will take you along and be looking for that video to come up uh, soon in the next day or two. Hopefully I can have it out and let y'all see what this Fiber Arts Festival is all about. So join me next time. Let me get my hook here. Join me next time to find out what's on the hook. <laughs>